There ain't no grave can hold my body down. There ain't no grave can hold my body down. Don't you just love a great story? I mean, when I see this team, I see a great story. I mean, when you saw the hate that they got in the offseason, you know, there were analysts saying that this team will be 6-10. and 10. There were articles about Josh Allen being benched this year. There are also articles about Sean McDermott may not be the head coach next year and all that BS. And I've made videos on them saying how ignorant the media sound, you know, predetermining a team's failure. It's like when you saw the Bills in the offseason, people did not see the talent that this team had except Bills fans. Their defense has been excellent for two straight years. And, you know, I was nervous in the offseason because when I saw this defense, I was like saying to myself, I hope this defense keeps the same intensity, you know, in Josh Allen's second year as a quarterback. And yes, they are the same defense. Josh Allen is more experienced. He's more clutch. He actually leads all quarterbacks in his draft class in game-winning drives. You know, a quarterback's ability to be clutch in the second half or fourth quarter shows you what kind of guy you really have. And Josh Allen has proven himself. You know, this Bills team is manifesting into the team that I expected. You know, when I used to make Bills videos in the past, I was talking about how the Bills should feed off their defense, get a solid running game, get linemen to protect Josh Allen, you know, build that solid foundation. And in the future, when they get, you know, superstars, like in the draft, like a solid wide receiver, the Buffalo Bills will at least have the foundation and a winning culture. But my pet peeve is when a team tries to get superstars before building a foundation. The perfect example of this is the Cleveland Browns. They thought getting Kareem Hunt, getting OBJ, will solve all of their bad luck and all of their problems. And I made one video about the Cleveland Browns this year. It was like eight months ago. And on that video, I state that just because the Browns have all of those superstars, it does not mean that Freddie Kitchens will know how to use them. And so far, I have been proven right. Sean McDermott, in three years, has had more success than any Bills head coach in the last two decades. You know, fans look at the Bills last year, and they see 6-10, and 10, and they thought that equated to mediocrity. But the Bills are three games away from being 9-7. and seven. The game against Houston was a game the Bills should have won. They could have won the game against the Patriots on Monday Night Football. I believe the Bills would have won that game had they had a quarterback that was more competent. But what makes this year so special is that this is the first time that the Bills have had double-digit wins in the 21st century. And technically, this is the first time in the 21st century that the Bills make it to the playoffs on their own power. Remember... The last time the Bills made it to the postseason, they had to rely on Cincinnati beating the Baltimore Ravens. This time, the Bills beat the AFC North team themselves, the Pittsburgh Steelers, to clinch a playoff berth. They have a chance to win the AFC East. They have a chance to get more wins. I mean, they have a chance to do a lot of stuff this year. And I look crazy at the beginning of the year when I was telling people that this team was legitimate. People kept talking about Josh Allen's accuracy, which I don't get because last year Josh Allen was a rookie and he did not play a full 16-game season and he got significantly better towards the second half of the season when he came back from injury. I mean, I don't get, you know, people sometimes. They look at TV too much and they hear, oh, Josh Allen isn't accurate, but they didn't see that he was getting better. And the Bills had no weapons on that offense last year. They didn't. Nobody was legitimately, you know, saving Josh Allen's ass. And when you look at this year, he's gotten better. So that is proof that he will continue to get better. I know that Sunday night's football game against the Steelers, you know, both teams were very sloppy. Or maybe both teams were not sloppy and both defenses 
just played very well because the Steelers got a very solid defense. So does the Buffalo Bills. What you also have to put into play is that both young quarterbacks were trying to take their teams into the playoffs. You had playoff implications on a big stage. So maybe there were some nerves there. I don't know. But all I do know is that the reason the Bills are 10-4 and four is because they play time of possession and their quarterback is clutch. They have a solid defense. They have a great kicker. They have a good running game. To me, all of those components is winning formula.